All right, dude, what's up? Hey, uh, today we're gonna do, uh, talk about match porting the intake manifolds to your cylinder heads. So uh, why do we match port the heads? I mean, basically you've got a, a cylinder head here. Check it out. Uh, this is a stage one ported head. You know, it's got it's not huge ports, but they're certainly better than stock. Um, and you've got an intake manifold here. And what that does, and you put the manifold on here, on the head, and you want a smooth surface between there and the intake. And because if you have a smaller port here and a larger port there, as that air is trying to suck in here, it's creating vacuum, it's gonna create turbulence around here, and it's gonna slow the speed down and be less efficient. So as you can see, the stage one ports, it's like if you put a gasket on there, the gasket like fits the port pretty well, you know? And if you put that same gasket and you keep the same side down on the intake, how it's gonna go like that, you can see, check it out. There's a lot of area right there where you're gonna have that step in that head, right? And that step, that step is gonna create turbulence. And when it creates turbulence, that's bad for the airspeed of your engine. Um, one of the things we're going to do also while we're doing this, in order to get this to sit right, check it out. On this thing here, if you notice, the cylinder head stays there. The intake manifold is walking around a lot. So, conveniently enough, we have throttle body bushings that we can drill out, we can put here, and they're going to take up the difference between the, the uh, stud in the intake and the manifold. So we'll go to work first, I guess, and probably check that dude up. And let's start drilling. <laughs> 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 Uh, we're gonna walk it over to the belt sander real quick. No, we're just taking this little lip thing off of that. You're probably not like, well, you might do this at home. Who knows? Cool. Here we go. We'll test fit it real quick. Uh-oh, that's good, that's a good thing. Hang on. It's a persuader. Perfect. All right, so now, there we go. Little paint pen, you know. We are, manifold goes like that. Gasket goes in the manifold. You want to center that dude exactly with those studs. And. Move it. Draw that line all the way to the edge. And there's where we need to cut. Sometimes I'll do it in orange. I'm gonna orange one of these so I can see a little better. But there we go. We'll start cutting, man. Let's get to work.
So, all right, so here we go. We got a rough cut done on it. Um, supports are now pretty close, but they're rough. You know, I mean, we've got some stuff here. We got a pretty straight shot at it. So we're gonna go through now and pop these out, I think. We got a couple of rough ones. Next, we're gonna get a flapper wheel on the Dremel. And we're gonna smooth this stuff out a little bit and then we'll teach you how to uh, put an edge on it. Cool. I don't know, you can kind of see inside there. It's not a perfect deal, but it's a lot smoother and, you know, getting that straight shot of air down through there. Problem is it's really, it's like really shiny and smooth. And, oh, I can't hear when I got these things on. <laughs> it's really shiny and smooth. So when it's shiny and smooth, um, you know, the air and the fuel is mixed together and suspended, the fuel is suspended in the air. And when it's smooth like this, um, the air, and the, the fuel tends to condense on the side like a shower door. And so what you want to do is you want to put some sort of a little etch in there, or a little texture. And that that when that goes through there, as far as the, the air uh, and the fuel, you know, going into your intake system, it creates like a like a soft barrier of, of um, air and fuel mixed. And it will... It helps to create, to, it helps to keep the fuel suspended in the air as it goes down. So it doesn't condense. If it condenses, it turns into liquid and liquid fuel doesn't burn. So what we've got to do in short, sorry for the long explanation. I think this is the drawer. Yeah, here we are, right? That one, where's our other one? There's one. That one will work for that. We've actually got a couple of them. Um, you take a really, I mean, it's a hard, hard bristle brush. And we're gonna go through there and we're gonna nail this thing real quick and put an, an etch in it. And if we need to get down further in there, this is, you know, not a super, super high-tech intake manifold. It's it's, it's certainly a <laughs> lot better than stock. So if we need to get really down in there, we have a longer one, we can go all the way down into it and get all the way down. A lot of times we'll enlarge these all the way down through there for the bigger, you know, take two liter motors and stuff. This is for 1679. Um, should make a lot better power than stock. Uh, so all we gotta do is chuck it up and we'll put some texture in it. And nothing fancy, just put it on a cordless drill. And get in there and Can you see in there a little bit? See how it's got texture right there? Pretty cool. We'll finish it up. Voila! It's done, dudes. Um, basically, the hole's cut. It's cool. We're blended. We're blended way down in the port. Looks pretty cool. Our gasket goes on like that. And I don't know. Pretty close, right? That's it. You know, next video, um, we'll show you how to glue the gaskets and what to do and not to do and make it really easy. So thanks for joining us. Jeff at the Caddyshack. See you next time.